You also had a few difficult decisions to make during this time, like so many, I suppose. You got a bit of criticism for it with the redundancies, the wage cuts, while players were being recruited. What was your response to that, and how did you, you feel about that? I mean, I, I, I get the argument, but I think at the end of the day, it's a false argument because you know, we need to right-size the business for the economic reality that we're living, which is what we've, we've done. Um, and I think everybody in the club contributed to that. Unfortunately, part of that is you know, the fact that we had to do some redundancies. But at the same time, we also have to continue in business and put a product out that's as competitive as it can be. So you balance those things. It's uh, perhaps, you know, it's, it's, it's a difficult balance, but you need to, I think, keep both those things very much in mind. Your, your business structure and what it needs to be and the product that you need to put on the field to compete. Yeah, you know, it's, um, it's difficult times, I get it, but the sun will shine again. And uh, once we get there, I think the club, hopefully, I think my number one responsibility right now as the chairman is to make sure that the club is well positioned when things get back and the sun starts coming back and, uh, and we can start doing some things. That, so it's well positioned to, to move quickly to the future that we're looking for, which is to be a really top-notch club in Scotland, to make our community and our, and our supporters proud and to play great football. And certainly no regrets. <laughs> no regrets, absolutely none. I, you know, it's funny, I, I can think about that, um, but um, I don't have a single regret, not for a moment, despite the challenges.